who says local multiplayer is dead. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 modern couch games. Become your favorite characters. <laughs> for more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this list, we're only looking at the best local multiplayer games that have come out in the last few years. These games can have online functionality, but if they're on this list, it's because they also feature heavy use of local multiplayer, whether it's competitive or co-op. We also didn't include any fighting games, because the whole list would just be fighting games. Number 10, Towerfall and Towerfall Ascension. This little game that could started as an OUYA exclusive ugh, before moving to the PS4 the year after its release. Up to four players control archers in a single screen arena, desperately trying to hit each other with arrows while using an assortment of power-ups. While the game is praised for its fast-paced and competitive play, it also includes a stellar co-op option where you and a friend progress through increasingly difficult levels. With its release on Xbox One, Steam, and an upcoming Switch port, there's no reason why you shouldn't check out this great indie title. I only hope we're not too late. Number 9, Bro Force. This indie features cooperative Contra-like gameplay for up to four players. You and your friends take control of various bros, who are parodies of their 80s counterparts. Featuring characters like Rambro and the Brominator, each bro offers a unique set of abilities. While the gameplay and story are definitely simplistic, the fun comes from just how over the top each level can be. This old school homage will leave you and your buddies pumped to play. Number 8, Rayman Legends. follow-up to 2011's Rayman Origins, this side-scrolling sequel improved upon its predecessor in almost every way. Not only does it include many levels from the original, but the graphics are beautifully enhanced too. There are also two new characters to play, Murphy, who's Rayman's guide, and Barbara, who's accompanied by her Viking sisters. Up to four players can play cooperatively through each of the wacky levels, but with a competitive twist to see who can collect the most lums. You can even humorously beat each other up, though thankfully you don't take any damage. The whole game is just overflowing with heart and personality, and uh, it's also got some kick-ass musical levels too. Number 7, Nidhogg 2. In another game that's an improvement over its predecessor, here two players are pitted against each other in hilariously gruesome duels to the death. Using weapons like knives, swords, and bows this time around, you must throw whatever you can pick up at your opponent if you hope to win, or you can just forego the weapons and stomp their face in. While you basically do die from one hit, the fun comes from being able to deflect your opponent's attacks, making for some pretty intense matches. Add in some very weird but very cartoonish character designs in various worlds to fight in, and you've got hours of fun ahead. Number 6, The Lego Games. While they may not change much in gameplay from title to title, the LEGO games have always offered a great source of fun, local co-op play. No matter which of their games you decide to play, and we do have a list of top 10 if you're interested, you can rest assured that you and your friends are in for some entertaining adventures and puzzle solving. The franchise's family-friendly gameplay, along with multiple titles, makes them enjoyable for all ages and tastes. With iconic characters from Harry Potter, Star Wars, DC, and Marvel superheroes just to name a few, there should be something for everyone to enjoy. Except for teenagers, they, they basically hate everything. Number 5, Cuphead. Gamers may have had to wait a while before they could get their hands on this one, but that doesn't change the fact that it offers some of the best and most insane two-player co-op in recent years. Like Battletoads for a new generation, this game is also incredibly difficult, tasking players with defeating one ridiculous boss after another. It's this high level of difficulty that makes the game so rewarding, and it's sure to form a bond between you and your partner, which is pretty rare in multiplayer games these days. Number 4, Diablo 3. 
while playing through the third title in Blizzard's massive franchise alone can be fun. It's ironically when you add friends on console that the game kicks it into high gear. Up to four players can choose from a variety of classes in this dark fantasy hack and slash, with even more options available in the Ultimate Evil Edition. Your team can then upgrade their characters from the loot found from slaying all manner of terrifying monsters in order to get more powerful and slay more terrifying monsters. And while you'd think that the game would become easier with more people playing, the damage and durability of the monsters increases depending on how many party members you have. With a lot of ways to play, there's lots of content for you and your crew to experience. Number 3. Overcooked Just because the gameplay is simple doesn't mean the game won't bring you tons of co-op fun. You and up to three players control chefs in a fast-paced cooking environment. The levels can change from standard kitchen to frozen lake to a ship and even a space station, with each level offering unique and often insane challenges. While the game might start off easy, it's not long before it throws some real curveballs at you. With the challenges escalating in difficulty, communication becomes increasingly important. Overcooked was made for couch co-op. In fact, as of right now, there's not even online multiplayer options. But we promise you, each tough level you accomplish will have you and your buddies coming back for seconds. Number 2. Mario Kart 8 In what many consider to be the best of a very good series, Nintendo once again knocked it out of the park with this multiplayer behemoth. Up to four players can compete here for first placed glory. Offering characters in different weight classes and featuring a variety of carts, wheels, and gliders, Mario Kart 8 is the most customizable in the series. With 48 tracks to play on, there's no shortage of courses for you and your friends to race through. Though the strength of those friendships will surely be tested, and with the Switch version comes an assortment of battle modes, meaning there's plenty of racetracks to enjoy for years to come. Number 1. Rocket League Do you sometimes wish FIFA had more explosions in it? Well then, this one might be for you. While it's now become a huge eSport, this game offers plenty of options for you and your buddies to just pick up and play at home. Whether it's 1v1, 2v2, or an online match against an opposing team, there are plenty of local multiplayer options. It is the perfect blend of intuitive yet intense gameplay, making it possible for anyone to pick up and enjoy, but also with an extremely high skill ceiling for those that want to pour hours into it. With availability across pretty much any major platform, there is no reason to not give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.